Hey, how's it going? It's uh, Steve here from Swifty Spade. Sorry about the audio quality. I'm using the mic off the actual laptop. Um, what I'm actually going to do here is show you how I go about uh, coloring my artwork. Just make a quick tutorial of it. So, I mean, right here, I'm the standard path. I always uh, expand everything. It's, about, uh, it's actually easy for me to work, work with that way, so. See. I said this is a quick sketch to show how everything inter how everything intersects with each other and how I go about coloring it. So I expand that. And th as I, what I'm doing is I'm using CS5, which uh, has a razor tool. I'm not for sure about the previous ones. I really haven't kept up with them. Now, uh, with brushes, you can't just ex select everything and expand it. You actually have to expand the appearance first for the actual brushes. Now, I usually, uh, object, expand everything. Then I'll come down over to the Pathfinder and click Merge. So everything's actually intersected with itself. Now what I normally what I do is I make a couple copies if I don't like uh, the way something works. But I actually make a copy before I merge everything together. So what I do is I'll, I'll select one, go to object, light paint, make. So I mean I just filled in really quick here. Now, an easy way to shade this is I actually, because I made a copy, I actually have a, the actual black outlines over this layer. And what I can do is make a new layer and grab the pencil tool and do some uh, actual quick shading. I mean, the top layer covers over uh, any imperfections that you'd normally see. This is an easier way to actually layer your shading too. So I just I use PC so it's control uh, left bracket. So I mean it's not the greatest technique, but I mean it works pretty quick for me. I mean I try to work as fast as possible. Um, the shortcut keys that I do use, I actually uh, set mine. The, the expand option, I made a Control E, and the actual uh, eraser would be a uh, Shift E. But I mean I use a uh, Cintiq, so I got the eraser on top of the actual pen itself. So, but uh, I just hope this helps you out. I mean. Like I said it's not the fat, it's not the greatest way, but it works if you want to keep if you make your artwork and leave it the way it is. You don't want to make any changes to it. It's just a simple, fast way to color. Also, um, somebody's asking about uh, separating the actual line or the actual colors or color separation. The way I go about doing that is after I uh, see this is still a live paint. What I do is I'd actually go. If you're just worried about the black colors, you actually grab the actual full drawing after it's been light, used with live paint, and you go to Object, Expand. 
click off of it, then I click or click on the direct select tool. I make a new layer. Click on that color, or a color that you want to separate, and move it up one layer. So you can actually have all your colors in each individual layer. And if you have multiple of the same color, what you do is you select that one color, you go to select, same, and fill color. Now I'll grab all the colors of the same, and then you just move them all up to one layer at once. So like I said, I hope it helps. It's efficient, fast for me, and I hope you can get some use out of it. Appreciate it. Also, also, if you get a chance, uh, go to my website or actually go to my Facebook and uh, hit the like button. Appreciate it. Thanks, and later.